Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It is me, The Tsukhafato, and today I'm going to be chatting about some projects I did before landing my first ever job as a software developer. And yeah, guys, it's actually quite a while back now. This is like over three years ago, but I thought it would be fun to look back and maybe it can help you guys out. If it does, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions, any comments, drop them in the comment section and let us get right into it. <laughs> Yeah, um, as I said, this was a couple of years back because I'll be working for a hot minute now. Like, I'm going to like, I've had like three and a half years of working. Like, it's, oh, you know what? Hashtag girl boss. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been good. But let's do a little bit of a throwback. And yeah, guys, I talk a lot about my career on here. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of a quick little recap. If you wanna do like a full recap, I have a playlist called Software Development, and it's all the videos that I've been doing on this channel about my career, so you can catch up on that. But yeah, I got my first full time job in March 2021, but before that, I had done some freelance projects. And yeah, I used to do a whole lot of websites. So my journey started back in like 2014, 2015. Um, I used to have a blog, and then that's what, you know, got my interest to like, okay, how does like this website thing work and I started learning HTML and CSS so that's when I started like you know learning how to code trying to figure out how to build a website you know heading body whatever paragraph <laughs> you know just trying to do all of that and yeah so that's where it all started I was just trying to build my own websites I'd like go online look for inspiration for designs and try to recreate those and yeah just to have like you know sometimes you have like this big idea I'm like you know what this is the idea that's gonna make me rich and I try to build that and well, <laughs> you can tell how that went because we're here, guys. We're still hustling, we're still grinding, <laughs> but we'll get there one day. But yes, I built a lot of websites and I also made use of like some templates and changed them up and you know, made them my own. So I did a whole lot of websites at the beginning and I built a portfolio with that. So what I did, I did like a company uh, website uh, for myself and then I put all my projects on there and also did build like a portfolio, a personal portfolio showing like my skills, like what I was studying and so on. So like these are very simple websites and projects like just HTML, CSS, it was like minimal JavaScript. It was all about like, you know, like having a paragraph, having images, putting a video and it's like, you know, all the basics and I've seen like, I think re like recently people really shy away from the basics but I think it's so important because I remember in Varsity one of the projects that we built was a website to like search for movies so you would like fetch uh, movies using like this API and then you would show them on your website and then you would add like search functionality and like as you can hear like as you hear what I'm saying, it's like search functionality, fetching things from the back end, displaying. It's like all simple things. And sometimes you're like, oh, I want to build this big fancy website that's like going to use AI or whatever. But it's like, hmm, do you understand the basics though? <laughs> you know? So I think that's what really helped uh, me with all these websites. It wasn't like groundbreaking or anything, but it really showed that, you know, I kind of had an understanding of what I was doing, especially for like entry level jobs, like just to show that, okay, I can actually, you know, start something and finish it. It might not be the best. Because if I, I don't even want to go back to look at that code because I'm like, oh, <laughs> let's not go back there. But I think just showing that you can actually have an understanding of what you're actually doing. And I'm currently learning Python and, you know, I'm taking it slow. I'm really learning from like the basics. I'm learning like strings and numbers and so on. And then it's going to build up. And I've seen like recently, because there's so many things, there's so many new developments I've seen. I've seen that like lots of new developers kind of just want to jump on the new trends. But I think it's so, so, so important to get into the bit, uh, basics and make sure that you have like a full understanding of what you're actually working with that's why I've been enjoying the course that I'm doing uh, and the course is the programming with Python course on brilliant and brilliant is actually the sponsor of today's video they have thousands of interactive courses in AI programming data analysis so you can go on there I've done a couple of their courses I really enjoy them because it's such a fun habit to have you know just to um, 
like in my day with these courses, learn something new, solve some problems. But also, as I said, I'm learning uh, Python now and it really just, it's building my understanding from the ground up and then I can, you know, really just get into it from there. And yeah, I really enjoy it. I think what's uh, really great about it is that it's interactive. So it's not just about like watching videos. You really get into it like from the first lesson. So they have like these drag and drop editors and you solve problems. So it's really fun. Like you get a question, you answer, you learn a little bit, you answer a question, you do an exercise. I just really enjoy it. And if you want to give it a try, you can use my link. It is brilliant.org slash I'll also leave it in the description. This will give you 30 days free and 20% off the annual subscription. So don't miss out guys. There's so much to learn and it is so fun to learn on there. So yeah, don't miss out. And yeah, so as I was saying, I did a whole lot of websites, but then I got to a point where I was in varsity now, I was learning a lot of things and I'm like, mm, you know what? I want to do apps now. I want to level up, <laughs> you know? And yeah, one of the apps I did, this was in my final year and I built an expo app for a travel agency so this was actually one of my freelance projects like I was in my hustle era I was out there and yeah so I built this uh, app for a travel agency the app was not that great guys but <laughs> it was so fun to do it was so challenging I actually got help uh, from a friend of mine shout out to him like oh you really helped me out there but yeah so what that really helped me with is like building a whole like this was for a client now like i had to finish i couldn't just give up halfway or have things like that are not working because i'm like okay people are gonna see this do you guys wanna see the app but if i show you i need you guys to understand that i was young it was four years ago like <laughs> you know but actually i'll put a little uh i'll put some screenshots on the screen but yeah we can i can do another video to show the app if you want to if you want to see that guys let me know in the comment section but yeah so that app really helped me like build a project from like ground up and actually complete it but with that project as well it's all about i remember you used uh, firebase so it's about also like saving stuff to the database and retrieving the information and searching and just loading information so it's like it's really the basics and I really think this helped me you know get like my first job and um, yeah so just doing all of that because then in my final year I also started freelancing and guess what I did guys that's what I was doing at my job I was doing some uh, web development stuff so yeah we're fetching stuff from the back end writing stuff to the database and so on so that app really helped me with that and I think that also shows because the app did not look the greatest but it worked so I think if you're building something it's nice if you want to do this UI that does all these things whether you work on a website an app whatever you can do that but I think the most important thing is like does it actually do what it's supposed to do and does it is it like can the users use it <laughs> you know so I think that's the thing that we need to focus on that like does the project actually does the function functionality actually work the way it's supposed to so yeah that project really helped me out with that it doesn't look that great but it works <laughs> so yeah that's important and yeah and then in my final year I also did a group project where we did a location-based game using react native it was four of us and yeah that actually is the one that helped me get my first job because they were looking for a react native developer and I had gotten some experience and I got to show off that project during like my interview process to say okay this is the parts that I did and you know I understand this and this and this and this about it so that was really great about that and yeah so that's the project I did it was it was for school but I got to add it to my portfolio even till today it's still one of like the my, my proudest projects the project I'm most proud of. Yes, so that's the English. <laughs> it's like one of the projects I'm most proud of because, whoa, ciao. Do you want to get into it? It was a struggle, but it was actually nice. Like it's always nice to have uh, like something at the end and say, I did that, you know? So that's actually when I learned like React Native and I was figuring that out. And you know, it was good. We got to do it as a group. And it's also nice to look back now, four years later, and see everyone that was in my group. And it's like, you know what? We did okay, <laughs> you know? But yeah, so that's what that was a project that I did. And yeah, I would say, I hope I'm not missing anything because I just sat down and I'm like, let me film this video. So I didn't actually like really think back. So maybe if there's anything else, I'll do another video to chat about some other things that I did. 
but yeah also just to mention with my project that I did for the travel agency how I did that is I actually uh, met this lady through a Facebook group and she had an app that she was doing and she had a whole business around that and she needed someone to run a stand she was going to like an exhibition a business exhibition she she just needed someone to be at the stand and answer questions and offered to do that and then, so she got me to do that and she paid me like for the day to be there but I was like hey by the way you know I, I study computer science and you know I know some stuff but yes like on that day I was just there to be at the stand but actually like eventually I got to a point where I could like build the website uh, not the website to build the app for her put that on my portfolio and then get my jobs but yeah I think that you know also networking that's important put yourself out there you know sometimes you build all these skills and then it's kind of like what do I do with them? Like the same with my uh, first ever full-time job. So I had built the travel agency app. I had built my project in school. And I had like my portfolio that I had in my Twitter bio. And that's where I got reached out to for like my first freelance job. Which then led to my first job. I hope you're keeping up. <laughs> but yeah, just, just say, like, you know, it's about building the skills. So just to recap on everything, learn the basics. Like, just learn from the ground up. And once you learn the basics, then you build on top of that, build some projects, show that you can actually put things together to make something that works. And then after that, put yourself out there. And yeah, guys, you know, all the best with your journey. Don't forget to check out Brilliant and try out their courses. They have some really great courses and you can really build up your understanding from the ground up. So if you want to give it a try, once again, it is brilliant.org slash and this will give you 30 days free and 20% off the annual subscription. So don't miss out. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. If you have any questions, any comments, drop them in the question in the, <laughs> in the comment section and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>